Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. You know, the other day I uh, saw something that, you know, just caught my eye. You know how you see those little things that just out of the ordinary? For once I actually saw something that I found very interesting in this little town. Um, <clears throat> to elaborate, my neighbor is a drinker. And, um, I ain't gonna say nothing against them for drinking. Nothing wrong with that. But, uh, I was walking down the street the other day and, um, saw him sitting on his porch, no shirt, drinking, no, uh, big old manly bottle of Jack Daniels. Yeah. There's a little twist to it that just come on. Through the lid, there was a pink bendy straw. And just to let you all know, he is not yet at the age where he has to drink orange juice or any other drink such as milk through a straw yet. He is not that old. And I also never recall seeing a western movie with the young rugged dude going into this musty old bar ordering a big ass ball of whiskey and drinking it with his silly straw. It's just out there. If you're going, the age is 21 to drink, not five. So, if you're going to drink, do it right. There's a right way to do things. Anyway, that out of the way. Um, I got questions, and one of them is from my friend Kelsey. She asks, "Do I think the world will end in 2012?" Nope. I do not think it will, because just about everything that's definite has an expiration date, eggs, milk, yada yada. I don't see an expiration date on the Great Wall of China, and I don't see one written on the bottom of the world. And people don't get their expiration date till, well, they already have a tombstone, so that's the only way you know when you died. There ain't no definite expiration date. Even doctors are wrong about when you're going to die because they don't definitely know. Um, Dante asks, also known as Victoria, um, my opinion on gay marriage. I'm going to sum that up just about like any other sexual or anything someone does in a relationship that you're not in. Whatever floats your boat. I mean, it isn't me. I'm not involved. I'm not gay. Uh, I also don't hate against gays. I don't hate against anybody. But. As long as they ain't the dude like isn't forcing himself on me, which I doubt that. I don't know, I've had some creepy stalkers. Anyway, that's a whole other story. Um, you know, they should have the right to do whatever they want to do. I mean, they bother me. It's like PDA. You see it anyway, you don't like to see it. I don't personally like to see it, so I don't really care. Um, Gabby asks, why are exotic dancers, or excuse me, why are strippers called exotic dancers? Because it's amazing. No, I'm joking, I've never even been to a strip. Um, I don't know, I guess it just, exotic just catches your attention more. And it doesn't sound as, it sounds more politically correct, I guess. You know, it just catches your eyes so much. You just gotta sit and touch and you got third money. I don't know. I'm guessing that's just how it is. More politically correct. Um, Stephanie asked, Why do stupid people say they're going to do something and not do it? You just answered your own question, Stephanie. Because they're stupid. Or they procrastinate, yada yada. Anyway... I guess that's all I really got to talk about for this vid. So, if any of y'all want any questions or anything for me to talk about, just send them to me and I'll answer them. If you don't want your name, I won't mention it. If you do want it mentioned, I will. Yada yada. And in the wor words of Mick Foley, have a nice day.